You know, when I see these pistols, I think of that girl that, you know, you have a toxic relationship with, and she says, I'm not like these other girls. Well, when I see these KLI pistols, I think, these aren't like those other pistols. What am I talking about? You guys are airsofters. You don't know anything about relationships. That's why you're playing airsoft. What's going on, you guys? My name is Cisco, and today, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new KLI High Kappas. Now I say new because you might have already seen these models from KLI. However, they have been redesigned to be dual power, dual fuel, like a hybrid. I, not really like a hybrid because no electric, more like a flex fuel car. You could take gasoline or green gas propane or E85 flex fuel. For these, it would be CO2, but let's go over them. Now, just to give a rundown of the models that they have right now, we have the 4.3 variants in a dual tone uh, black and stainless steel, the all black version. We have the regular high cap of 5.1. We have the stainless version here. We have the extended compensator inner barrel version of the 5.1 right here, and the newest 5.1 to their catalog right here. Doesn't have a specific name, but boy is this thing pretty. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to be taking a look at the newest 5.1 from KLI. And you might be thinking, hey Cisco, that's kind of a basic plain dream high cap. And I will respectfully say, you're wrong. You're wrong, okay? There are subtle changes that they have done to this high cap that just make it delicioso. Delicioso is the right word. Now, if you don't know about KLI, they have been making high cappas and other airsoft guns for quite a while now. And you might famously know them for the Baba Yaga, which is also a dual power system. But if you've seen their previous high cappas, they're a little plain Jane. But they have updated those old models and created this new high kappa that used the dual power system. And if the Baba Yaga was just a little too flashy for you, this new high kappa is right in between. It's not like those basic high kappas or super flashy. It's just perfect. And like I said, they're using that dual power system, which is just different. Built different. different. Now, starting off with the slide, it is made of full metal and has aggressive serrations toward the front and the rear of the slide. It doesn't have any window cuts because it doesn't want to be too flashy. Going to the top of the slide, it does have these ramp cuts and these edgy angular cuts you know kind of like that goth girl in high school that didn't wore revealing clothing followed the dress code but wore all black and still looked good classy is the right word now going on to the iron sights of the gun it does have a full fiber optic system with the standard green in the front and then it does have uh, fibers in the rear sight as well personally i like the rears blacked out but three dot sights are still a thing. And it is a standard 5.1 style iron sight, so it's adjustable for windage and elevation because you really need that in your pistol. Now, moving on to the frame, it does have an integrated Picatinny rail for your flashlights or lasers. And like the previous Tokimaru style where it screws in, it's simple, it's clean. Now, going on to the pistol grip, it is a standard high kappa style with the traditional 1911 diamond patterning with the KLI logo right in the center to remind you that your gun is simply built different. Personally, I would have liked a stippled grip or maybe a skater's grip for more aggressive texture and a better look, but this is all right. Nothing to complain about. But going down to the very bottom, we have this flat black magwell, which is just nice and sleek. It's very quiet, just shh. It's not like these gold and silver and flamboyant rainbow colors that just scream for attention, right? No, this just blends in, matches the slide of the gun, and just looks so clean and gives you the functionality that you want. Now, to cover the rest of the externals, we have the skeletonized trigger. Honestly, I would have preferred a more flat speed style trigger. It would have made it look better, but I haven't seen a good trigger out of the box, so... And then all the other high cap controls are the same. The standard slide release, ambidextrous slide catch, grip safety. I, you've heard it all. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Going into the internals, this is where the gun is built. Like I said before, it is using KLI system that is made around CO2 out of the box. 
it comes with the Green Gas Magazine, but I highly recommend getting the CO2 Magazine because it turns this gun into a completely different beast. It is the hardest kicking pistol that I have ever shot in Airsoft, and it is loud. Now, this gun screams stealth, very quiet, matte black, you know, just hiding in the shadows. But when you shoot it on CO2, people will know you are coming. Now, stealth is optional. You can still use the Green Gas Magazine, and it'll work phenomenally. But... There's just an extra layer of fun that CO2 will add that you will not get anywhere else. Now, what is the importance of being able to use CO2 in your high kappa? Well, the original high kappa designed by Tokyo Marui was designed around duster gas, which is a low pressure gas system. And you can use green gas in those guns, but we don't recommend it. Majority of the other gas blowback pistols on the market are designed around green gas, which is still relatively a low pressure gas, but I'd probably put it more at a medium pressure gas. And then you have the in-betweens of red gas, black gas, and then right at the top is CO2, a high pressure gas system. What does that mean for your airsoft gun? Number one, you're gonna get an increase in FPS compared to those lower pressure gases. Number two, you are going to get a hard kick. Now, all CO2 pistols aren't built the same. KLI has designed their system to be the hardest kicking CO2 gas blowback pistol, and I stand behind that. Number three, efficiency. You're going to get more magazines of BBs on one CO2 cartridge versus you would on one fill of green gas. And the last benefit of CO2 is if you run in colder weathers, the CO2 is more efficient than it is, than green gas is. So you'll be able to work your gun, use your gun in those colder weathers. So CO2 is the way to go, especially if you live in, you know, freezing areas. A feature that is the most different about the KLI high kappas compared to other high kappas is subscribing! Hello! Oh what? You think just because it's a plate rack I can't hurt you? Oh I'm gonna hurt you if you don't subscribe, okay guys? Make sure you go to airsoftji.com if you want to support the channel directly. You get your airsoft goodies over there and we get to make this content for you. It's that simple! Now if you're turned off by the original gas system that KLI has designed, listen. Majority of airsoft is designed around green gas, which means they can't handle the high pressure of CO2, which is why KLI designed their own CO2 system to increase the performance and longevity of the gun, which is a benefit for you because if you would like to use green gas instead of CO2, it only increases your longevity of your airsoft gun. Now, with all that being said, how hard do these little puppies shoot? Well, the KLI dual power high kappas are shooting at about 300 FPS with a 0.2 gram BB and green gas. And with CO2, it's shooting at about 350 to 360 feet per second with a 0.2 gram BB. You've heard me talk enough about how these pistols are built different, but do they shoot different? Let's go find out. Ah! All right, guys, we are here at the range with the KLI Dual Power High Kappa. Right now, I have the Green Gas Magazines with uh, 0.25 gram BBs. Uh, we're at about 50 feet for our target right now. This is about average distance for a pistol target. Uh, so just gonna pop a few shots off, see how it performs. Perfect. Let me see if I can get a headshot. So they're flying right, left and right of the head. There is a little bit of a headwind here, uh, but it's hitting a man-sized target really easy. This is pretty standard for uh, what you would to expect out of a pistol. The gun itself, smooth. The the slide is cycling properly. Nothing wrong with it. I expect it to perform here, but let's take it back a little bit. I do have to say that in the hands, that 1911 style grip does feel pretty comfortable. It's not, you know, the, the classic style of high kappa grip, but I don't know. There's something about it that's just giving a little accent to this gun that just, it looks good, feels good. All right, so we're at about, I don't know, 100 feet now. Let's see here. Ooh, that's over hopping. Whoop. There we go. All right, still able to hit a man-sized target. Let me just dump this because there's only a few rounds left because, yeah. So it cycles, it performs like any high cap of wood. But what makes this gun different is that CO2 magazine, guys. Have the same 0.25 gram BBs in here, fresh. CO2 cartridge. Is there one in the chamber? Nope. All right. This is where, oh, you could tell 
the difference. Can you hear it on, on camera? It's just so much snappier. It kicks, oh my goodness. Oh, there's something about CO2 that just is so amazing. It just feels good in the hands when you're kicking it. Like KLI designed this, so it is the most hard kicking CO2 pistol out there. And I agree to that. All right. So we're at about 150 feet now. Let's see. So there is room for adjustment for the hop up unit. We adjusted it so it's comfortable within that distance, but we're trying to push the limits here. Ooh, just over. I'm kind of lobbing them right now. Hit. Okay, they're flying over. Hold on. Let me. Oh, empty. But guys, this is shooting fantastically. It feels great. I'm going to test this out a little bit more, see how far we can push it. And yeah, pretty good. All right, guys, we're back at 150 feet. We uh, filled the magazine up with those same 0.25 gram BBs, same CO2 cartridge. So this is the second mag. Uh, tuned the hop up a little bit, but guys, this gun has the same range as your rifle. That's freaking crazy. All right. Now guys, again, it is a little windy, but it's traveling past the target. Okay, they're traveling past the target. Let's, let's push it back. We're gonna go to 200 feet. That is so crazy. Out of a pistol, out of the box, guys. And it's still hitting that man-sized target. Now again, there is a little bit of windage that I have to adjust for, but holy crap. Let's see here. That would have hit his feet. So at about 200 feet, it's hitting the man size target. It would have hit the feet area. And uh, I did have to adjust a little bit for the wind, uh, shifting left and right. But guys, this is a 5.1 high kappa. That's like a 115 millimeter barrel. That is ridiculous, especially at this range, hitting a man size target, that's very impressive. We are still at the range. We have our FFO plates rack set up right now. If you didn't know, there is a combo package available at airsoftgi.com. But I have an airsoft challenge for me and Boaz and you guys as well. We're gonna try and hit all the plates in the least amount of shots. So we're gonna be counting accuracy here. Let's see how many shots I can do it. <laughs> Boaz, you're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! So I, I do think that was six for six, technically. <laughs> All right, it's my turn to shoot the kill line. Hi, Kappa. I don't know if I can get a triple kill like Cisco. Hey, I'm gonna count that as like a one for one. So you got a triple kill. We'll just count that as three shots. Yeah, 100% accuracy for that one. Well, let's see if I can beat him. Oh, the kick. Follow shots are terrible. Wow. I'm pretty blown away by the kick. I, I, I have a CO2 SIG M17 and I will say for sure this kicks way harder. This time we're gonna do left, right, left, right, left, right on the target. Let's see how I do. God, that was terrible. I was compensating for the hop up, but boy, it's a short turn. You're gonna sweep me with this one. So if I were to ever buy this, I would probably paint or black out the rears. Just It's just easier on my eyes. But let's see if I can beat this girl real quick. Ooh. 
Easy. Dang, you got me. All right, guys, we are back from our shooting challenges. And I have to say that KLI did not upset. They designed their gun to be the hardest kicking CO2 pistol on the market. And it holds up to that. Like when you're shooting it, it just feels good. It's just an extra layer of fun on the airsoft field or just plinking around in the backyard. Now, who would I recommend this for? Now, if you are a pistol builder, you know that it is a trial and error process of getting different parts, finding the fitment, modifying those parts, and not everyone likes to do that or doesn't have the time or the effort, want to put in the effort to do that. And this is where the KLI sits because it shoots great out of the box. It'll work every time that you're going to use it and you don't have to worry about it. Now you might be saying, Cisco, all right, you convinced me. That's a pretty dope pistol. How much does it cost? Well, the KLI dual power high cappers are starting off at about $130 at airsoftji.com. And you can use the Wombo Combo for the best savings in airsoft. And there are different packages available that include green gas, BBs, even the plate rack that we shot at for you guys to have fun in your backyard or garage or a safe area. Oh, by the way, if you want to pick up the KLI Dual Power High Kappa or any other airsoft gun at airsoftguy.com, we now have an improved checkout system that now accepts Google Pay, PayPal, traditional credit and debit cards that you probably stole from your mom, and a firm that make your life much easier when checking out at airsoftguy.com. And make sure you use the Wombo Combo for the best savings in airsoft. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think about the Dual Power System from KLI in the comments below. Do you think that more companies should come out with a dual power system as well? Yes. Yes, they should. But let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We upload every week and we live stream. Support us on Instagram, TikTok. Make sure you follow us there. And if you want to support the channel directly, go over to airsoftgi.com, pick up one of these beautiful high cappers, get yourself one of those shooting packages so you can take on the challenge as well. And I'll see you next time. Peace.